Hi everyone, Alex here. Today I have a quick video for you on coordination review in Revit. Whenever you're linking models, like architectural models, structural models, and you're monitoring elements, you do copy monitor and you're monitoring elements. Anytime that those elements change, you'll get an image like this on your screen. It's a dialog box that tells you instance of link needs coordination review. Monitored elements can be things like levels, column grids, light fixtures, plumbing fixtures, and many others. Typically, you monitor only things that you really need to because this dialog box are pretty annoying, but things that are major, like the levels, you definitely want to monitor those. So I'm going to open the model, I'm going to correct the problem. And later I'm going to do an in-depth video on coordination review, but for now I just want to help a friend out, so I'm creating this video to put it out there. See you in Revit. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. So I'm going to open now the mechanical model. I just want to show you something, and I know that tomorrow you're not going to be able to see it because you're going to download the updated uh, mechanical model. So I'm trying to open, okay, overwrite existing copy, nothing new here. But since the architectural model moved the roof upwards a lot, then you get this dialog box. See, it says instance of link needs coordination review. Coordination review is what you do when the architectural model changes drastically. So if you go expand, Revit is trying to be helpful. It's not really that helpful, but it gives you this warning, right? And it says that this link, Revit model arc, something changed, right? something change and the ID of that element is 1195297 it turns out that that's the level of the roof and um, I wish this was a little bit better right like you could click on it and it would take you to the level or the elevation and you could see something graphically or visually unfortunately that's not the case so you just get something like this when you click OK unless you took note of that element ID you might not even know what changed so the best way to find out what's going on is you come here to collaborate and then you come here to coordination review and now you need to select the link that you were told at the beginning that changed so which one's that link well you need to highlight and there you see it right architectural so it's this one so I click and now I get this dialog box and then you see that levels changed right a level moved by 7 foot 10 inches so that's a lot Right, so here are your actions. You can either postpone and take care of it later. I certainly don't recommend that. You could reject the change and then that would, if you're properly connected to the architect, whatever, the architect would get a message saying, listen, if no, the, the MEP consultant doesn't want you to move the roof. You know how that goes. That typically is not an option. So they just say, well, sorry, it moved. So you can accept the difference that's not recommended because then that would keep you different from the architect. So your roof would be different from the architect. Or you could move the level roof to where the architect is showing. That is potentially destructive, but unfortunately is only our is our only option. Right? So we have to do OK. And now our roof changed elevation. So if we if we go to let's see if we have an elevation here. Elevation, we have a south elevation right here. See, so if we go to our levels, originally our level was really low but now since I uh, I told Revit to move it up it moved it up to where the architect has it which is at 38 feet you can see that now this is huge right before our air handler was like around here and this pipe which was hosted to the roof like around here more or less by the roof moving completely anything that is hosted to the roof is moving with the roof so that's why it's potentially very dangerous thankfully for us we hadn't done too much work all we had were was an air handling unit and a little bit of piping so that piping moved up but typically this is very destructive you know pipes break uh, ductwork breaks etc so whenever you're moving a level you have to be very careful I just wanted to show you how to identify that when that happens 